Now I have a remnant from a previous project that I did and it left me with a very irregular size shaped piece of fabric, but it is enough to cover my cushion. Because the chances are high that I will change the seat cushion cover again, I'm using my Sherbonder glue gun instead of a staple gun. Whether using a glue gun or a staple gun, what you want to do is start attaching your fabric on opposite ends. So if you start at the top, you go to the bottom, then you go to the right, and then you go to the left. And from there, you want to start gathering the fabric in between those spaces and attaching it from there. Now, you don't want to pull too tight because you'll get an irregular shape on your cushion. And there you have it. I do want to say when you're using thinner fabric instead of upholstery fabric, you will get some more gathers. That doesn't bother me because I do plan to cover my cushion with plastic and I'm going to show you that next. One last thing too is I'm going to take just some regular rubbing alcohol with a soft cloth that does not give off a lot of lint and I'm going to wipe the vinyl off as well. I've already had my pre-cut little square if you can see and I'm going to wipe that off as well. This is a dollar store grade cheapo shower curtain. If you want your stool to last longer, go ahead either number one buy better fabric buy vinyl or go to a fabric store that sells the thicker type of vinyl that you can cover your stool with. Just to be sure to cover this because I didn't really demonstrate that, once you apply that fabric underneath that cushion, go ahead and cut away the excess before applying that last underlayment piece on your cushion. Okay guys, so what I would recommend is I just did it again. <laughs> I have dried glue on my hands and while I was using the blow dryer, it was creating streaks. And as you guys would remember, this is dollar store vinyl. So if I get to scrubbing, chances are I would run and just kind of 
waste the 10 minutes it took me if that to put it actually on so there it is now it's time to go ahead and attach the back side i'm just going to go ahead and use a glue gun and put it over it because i'm still going to have to attach it to the bottom of the stool it's a really simple stool you guys as you see that price tag i did not pay that much for this stool it was in the 20 dollars range i just don't remember what amount exactly now that being said i was happy that the underlayment was in great condition because all i had to do was line it up to the holes and put the same screws back in. Once I hand tightened all the screws as far as I could go, I came behind it and used this Husky all size in one Allen key wrench. I don't know what you want to call these, but I tightened them completely and then I was done. I thank you guys for your time. I'm going to go ahead and insert that one little table where I have placed my stool at and go ahead and check out that as well. You guys, I built that with a wall hanging and some leftover dowels from a closet that we refurbished some time ago. You guys stay safe and healthy as possible. Bye-bye.